Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel guys. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Today I'm gonna go ahead and get baby Phoebe changed today. Um, Phoebe is my little girl. This is, uh, she is the Willow Awake. Um, she is the um, Why are you, baby? She's she's Willow Awake. She is the um, from the kits. Um, she was sculpted and poured by Claire Teller, um, but painted by me. And she is my little girl. She's my sweet. She's my perfectly flawed baby. <laughs> I know I I always say that and people say oh I don't see flaws but um, she has things little things that you know when you're painting there's things in your work that you don't particularly want to see and so you know some stuff you know is just is okay and we get over it and some stuff you know but she's like i said she's my she's my perfectly flawed baby so regardless to her little whatever little flaws she may have say mommy has accepted them and she's okay with that she's a, um I made the mistake of going back and painting over her a couple times and to me um, I don't know but the good part about it is some of her little imperfections I can actually go in and fix if I wanted to but I just don't want to bother her because I love um, I love her and I don't want to do something that make me not love her so i was like okay the little minor things is okay with me um right poop poop she's super soft yeah i'm super soft which is why i love her in um sleepers it's always like a constant debate like with a lot of people which one do you prefer equiflex 20 or super soft you know people ask that question all the time which ones do you prefer do you prefer the super soft or the equiflex 20 i think it's all the preference i think um i like them both for different reasons but you know, like I've seen somebody else say, yeah, although they may be super, super soft and people may say, well, if they're too soft, they don't fall realistically and all that and stuff. They still, in my opinion, they just, it's just something about holding them. They're just so cuddly and they just, it just, I don't know. I just really like super soft. I, I can't, that's all I can say. To each his own but it's my it's my thing now i don't want them like so soft to where they're just straight mush but i don't know when they're super soft they like they like she just she wrinkles so nicely and she feels so woo woo don't don't show your business don't show your business don't show your business they um they feel so, so freaking cuddly in sleepers. That's my favorite thing with them. Sleepers and like, you know, the PJs where, ooh, I hope I didn't show anything. I'll have to look back for that. Um, when they're in their little PJs, they, they just cuddle, they hold so nicely. 
Right, Poo Poo? Yes, they do. <laughs> I hardly do her hair, too. I need to do her do something with her hair. But I like, I like it when it looks like wild looking. So, I don't know. And then sometimes she looks a little lighter than what she is. And sometimes she looks a little darker. This was Sasha's outfit. That's what I bought it for. But her and Sasha wear each other clothes all the time. So, I'm going to put them on her. Little stops. These are little, her little piggies. <laughs> Her little piggy piggies. She is a baby that will not leave my collection ever. And even if I get tired of her, which I haven't, she wouldn't leave simply because of the little things, the little flaws. So, um, what you see on camera, I don't like edit her pictures or anything like that. It's just little minute things like um, where like I might have went in like there's a little discoloration right here that you may not see and right here where like it, discoloration right there and right there like th those are what I'm, I'm some of the things that I'm talking about um, yeah those are some of the things that I'm talking about. And when you paint in a super soft silicone, you have to be very, very, very careful. Because of their little creases and stuff like that. But she's so posable. Like, this this is the thing. Like, I, this is where I love my kids. That's why it's like, I know, like, you know... Clairetella dolls are unique and they're very special. I've had several of her doll edition babies and they're amazing and they have their own feel and stuff like that. But having one of her kits, her silicone, period, rather you get it in a kit or you get it in her special blend for her dolls, it's just amazing and it kind of stands out by it in its own little category. Um, there are other silicone artists out here that are pouring really nice silicone as well. But I'm just speaking on my collection right now. What I have, um, if somebody else wants me to talk about their silicone, they can always send me a kit. <laughs> and I'll tell you about your silicone. But right now, this is what I have in my collection. And so that's what I'm talking about. Look at it. And I think a lot of times people by Lily and Breville dolls because they get to get Claritella poor and also Lillian does do some cute faces that you know people tend to like um including myself you know so we all have our preference or whatever but I think it does help that you know you're gonna get a really good nice off baby that's gonna wrinkle nicely and usually they they pose pretty good because of of that but this this little stinkaboo like I said she is just really nice um she doesn't have a spine she doesn't have a skull she's a kid so she has you know she has an elbow armatures mine don't have a drinking wet but some of them do and I just I think they're still really nice so, I love that the artists are still some of the artists that do doll editions, especially the high-end artists, because you don't see many high-end artists, sculptors, I should say, or silicone people actually offering kits, too. So, that is something that I am really excited, I always been excited about, and I've always told you guys, when I got to the point where... I know I couldn't afford the dolls anymore like that. I started going to the kits and then when I learned that I could paint my own, it made it 
even sweeter but even if I couldn't paint my own I would still be buying kits because that's what I can afford you know what I mean if I could afford something different then I think I would still get kits some kits because you know you get some different faces and stuff like that and you get to get your own version of what you want it to look like but I think that I definitely would buy a doll too um I like some people you know sometimes you look up you know I don't have a problem with second market I don't buy from second market as as much as some of my friends or other people might do but it's only because usually I tend to like to sometimes I buy I just tend to end up going straight to the artist but then I have bought second market and um, when I do buy second market it's usually by someone that I follow or you know I'm very familiar with how they handle their babies and stuff like that um, and I trust them I trust doing business with them and so so I don't knock second market at all um, but yeah I just that's just you know it's just different ways that people obtain their dolls um, but I I do like that I'm learning to uh, grow in the silicone painting I am planning on experimenting a lot more with my personal babies once I finish up these orders and um, I have like I was mentioning in my live stream I have about four silicone babies lined up to paint for myself um, I'm not gonna keep all of them I'm, I'm almost certain of that but um, I will I did find my sleeper girl too guys I did so I will be nesting um I just need to you guys I won't reveal who it is until she is ready to be shown but I realize sometimes we do all this big talking about what's what we don't like what we ain't gonna buy what this is not that good and all that stuff and then you do all that talking and you have to eat your words and I have had to eat my words because as I started looking out in the market I realized that it's it's a lot out there but it's not a lot out there that I like that's the nicest way to put it and so I am very picky as a collector I don't buy what's popular. I don't buy. Um, I don't buy off a name. I don't care who you are, what your name is, how much a doll sell for. I'm not just gonna buy just because everybody loves your dolls. And even if I love your dolls, I'm not buying just because I love your dolls because every doll is not going to speak to me so sometimes i like babies and i'm like oh this that baby is so nice i love it but it's not my baby like i don't it's not for my collection i'm also i've also decided every year i start to become more and more a little bit maybe it's becoming with age i'm becoming more and more my own person and although I always felt like I was my own person, I do that there are, know that there are some things that's just embedded in me from just life experiences. Um, my life story that is not on social media. Um, of you know, sometimes that little girl inside you peeks out in every aspect of your life, and sometimes I have chosen babies because I'm like 
this is what I'm supposed to be praising, you know. And I, when I say that, it's specific skin tones or things like that. Um, but in 2021, I'm going to do, I'm going to choose choices for me. That makes sense. It sounds like I'm contradicting myself. I've always chosen what was for me. But there are some things that I think I've put more emphasis on because I was trying to please everyone, if that makes sense. It's pressure. Sometimes it's, 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 it's pressure being on social media. It's pressure just being, you know, who I am in my personal life, et cetera, et cetera. It's just personal. Sometimes we just have pressure. Sometimes we and sometimes we just think we know what we like and know what we want and and in that moment we 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 do and then things change. I don't know what I'm saying, child. I'm just rambling. Maybe it'll make sense. It probably don't. But that's okay. And anyway, she got her hair done. Oh, you so soft. I wanna pick her up. I gotta pick her up. Let me pick you up. Let me pick you up. No. See, tell the people you're sorry. Why she pick you up? <laughs> Them little eyes be stretched so big. <laughs> Stop stretching your eyes, little girl. Anyway, so that's Phoebe Poo. I will see you guys in another video. I gotta learn to start going back to making shorter videos. But I just get so caught up to enjoy my babies and I don't want to rush it just because I'm on video so that's that she did have a little hat to go to this after I done her hair does it make sense to mess it up with a hat <laughs> I guess so we'll just mess it up with a hat look at that little piece of hair sticking up baby there we go all right See you guys later.